All right, guys. So the new competitor list has been released for the 2016 Mr. Olympia. There's been some uh, interesting changes to it. So I figured I'd make a new prediction video with these changes reflected in the video. Um, so the new list is William Bonac, Justin Compton, Brandon Curry, Nathan Diasha, Big Rami, Dexter Jackson, Steve Kuklo, Josh Lenardowitz, Kevin Lavroni, Michael Lockett, Victor Martinez, Dallas McCarver, Cedric McMillan, Lucas Osladile, Ben Pakalski, Sean Roden, Fred Smalls, Akeem Williams, Roy Winkler, and Phil Heath. Now notice Kai Green, Dennis Wolf, and Branch Warren are all three not on this list. Um, so I'm going to reflect those changes in this video. Also, Victor Martinez is on this list. He wasn't on that list at the time that I made my last video, so I did not think he was competing. Um, so we're going, to we're going to reflect those changes in this video here. So in first place again, I have Phil Heath. Um, no surprise there. Uh, the reason being is the, the the only person I really had pushing Phil Heath was Kai Green. Um, I think him and Dexter, that first and second place spot last year, I think the second place with Dexter and Sean in third was more between uh, Dexter and Sean fighting for third than it was Dexter and Phil fighting for first. I don't think Dexter was pushing Phil as much as he was really pushing Sean. So for that reason, I think Phil is kind of sitting pretty on top just like he was last year. So that brings me to second place. Again, we're going to have Dexter Jackson, same thing as last year. I think he's going to do enough again this year to edge out Sean Roden from what we've seen of Dexter Jackson's recent guest posings. Um, he's looking absolutely amazing. We haven't seen much of Sean. We haven't really seen him post too many pictures or videos on social media really revealing his physique. Um, so that I don't know really what that means, but we've seen a lot of Dexter, and Dexter is very confident. We've heard Dexter uh, talk a lot of smack, talk a lot of game, um, and I think he's going to back it up this year and get second place again. I mean, Dexter Jackson is a former Mr. Olympia, so he is a serious competitor um, in this lineup. So third place, like I said, we're going to have Sean Roden yet again. Now, anyone who can really argue Sean Roden being in third would probably argue that Big Rami or one of these bigger, newer guys would be in third place. But that's just not the case. Sean Roden has that polished look. He's got that perfectly flowing physique, that tiny waist. He's got those round, full muscle bellies. I think I think Sean Roden is a solid in uh, in that third place spot unless Big Rami can come in absolutely shredded, and he would be the only person that I would really see unseating uh, Sean from that third place spot. But that brings me to fourth place, Big Rami. Now, from the pictures I've seen of Big Rami so far, obviously he's massive. He's huge. He's got the size. He's playing the size game again this year. Um, and the reason I say that is because I don't think he's going to be in condition this year. I don't think he's going to be in perfect shape like he needs to be um, to edge out Phil, to edge out Dexter. But he might be good enough to go head-to-head -head with Sean, maybe win. But I think Sean is going to come out with the win if it, if it comes down to him and Rami in the same call-out. Now, obviously, Rami's way bigger than Sean, but conditioning is what win shows. And I don't think he's going to have that conditioning on par this year. Number five, Cedric McMillan. This is another guy who has been quiet um, throughout the offseason. Um, but keep in mind, he went head-to-head -head with Kai Green um, at the Arnold Classic this year, and he essentially won except for the posing round. So in terms of being the better bodybuilder, Cedric basically won the Arnold Classic except for the posing routine round. So this is a guy who has the potential to go head-to-head -head with Phil because he technically beat – the only guy that has come closest to, to, to beating Phil. So I see Cedric in that fifth place spot. So sixth place, we have Rolly Winkler. Obviously, Rolly Winkler has made tremendous improvements over the past couple of years in terms of reducing the size of that bubble gut. Um, but in fact, I don't think he's going to do enough this year to really be in that top three spot like a lot of people want him to be. I think he certainly has the potential, but like Big Rammy, I think he has the conditioning issue, and I still don't think he's going to bring it 110% this year. I think he'll do enough to be the top six, but I don't think he's going to do enough to be in the top three. Which brings me to number seven, Joshua Lenardowitz. This guy got third place at the Arnold Classic this past year, finishing behind Cedric and Kai. Um, so this guy's definitely a top-level bodybuilder. Um, he's a newcomer to the sport. Um, but, however, I don't see him breaking that top six. I think the top six this year is too stacked. 
Um, he hasn't beaten any of these other guys in competition. Um, like I said, Cedric was one of the last guys that he actually competed against, and Cedric beat him. So I have Cedric in fifth, Roley in sixth, Josh in seventh. I see him edging out this guy that I've got in number eighth. Uh, we're going to get to that in a second. So eighth place, we have Justin Compton. Um, at the Arnold Classic, Josh beat Justin, and it was mostly because of conditioning. Um, Justin has had a lot of problems with conditioning at the past couple shows he's been in, and Josh has not had that problem you know, pretty much whatsoever. Um, so I see that trend also playing out at the Olympia. I think Josh is going to beat Justin uh, due to that massive uh, level of conditioning that Josh brings to the stage. I think Justin's going to look good, but probably not good enough to be in that seventh place spot. So I have Justin in eighth. I think he is certainly, certainly top 10 material. Um, so yeah, that brings us to number nine. We're going to have Dallas McCarver in ninth place. So since my last prediction video, Dallas has moved up a spot. Originally, I had him in 10th, um, and I had Kevin Lavroni in ninth in my last video, but I have changed that around after seeing some recent pictures of Kevin Lavroni and some pictures of Dallas. Now, so Dallas looks amazing this year. He's made tremendous improvements. I believe they said he's made 30 pounds um, of muscle gain over the past 12 months. Um, and he, he definitely looks it. He definitely looks significantly bigger and significantly harder. Um, so Dallas McCarver in ninth. That brings me to our 10th place finisher, Kevin Lavroni. Now, Kevin, I originally had him in ninth place, like I said. But I had to change that prediction, man, after seeing the recent pictures of Kevin. Um, you know, the fullness, I just don't think it was there. The back picture that he posted, we've all seen that back double bicep picture. I think that kind of made a made a game over statement in terms of his chances of winning the Olympia, his chances of being in the top six, his chances on being, you know, in the bottom or the top end of that top 10. So now I have him on the outside looking in and probably battling Victor Martinez for that 10th place spot. So I think 10th place is kind of a toss up between Victor and Kevin. I think Victor will come in 11th if Kevin comes in 10th. Um, so Kevin's best placing at the Olympia. I see it being 10th place. I think a lot of that will have to do with him being a legend. You know, the judges giving him that that nod for, you know, respect for competing again. So Kevin Lavrone, I don't think he's going to have the legs. I don't think he's going to have the back. I think he will have the conditioning and I think that that'll put him in 10th place. Nick strength and power signing out.